Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the Crafty Corner. We're here at Fayette County Public Library. I'm Miss Lisa, and today I have a craft to show you called the Mushroom House. Take a look. How cute is that? So today I'm going to open one of these packages that I have that are available here for you just to take home so you can make this craft yourself. It is a fairly easy craft. You just need um, a paper, half of a paper plate, and I have red already, so if you don't have um, red paper plate, you can just paint it or color it with a marker. You need some of the large craft sticks, and then just some um, construction paper, black and white will do. You also need glue, scissors, and markers, and that's all you need today to make this cute little mushroom house. To begin with, you need some cardstock that is the same size as your um, craft sticks, okay, because you want to be able to glue it to something so that it is stiff so that your little mushroom house won't collapse. It will sort of stand up against um, or the wall or a book or whatever, wherever you want to hang it. So to begin with, you're going to take your strip of cardstock that's in your, in your packet and you are going to apply um, a lot of glue because you want it to stick really well. So we're going to put that glue there and then we're just going to take your craft sticks and lay them down right next to each other side by side. And you're going to want to have it come off a little bit so that the the paper doesn't show underneath the craft sticks, okay, or at the bottom there. So you're just going to lay those side by side, and that's going to give us the base of our house. Let's press it down so that it sticks really well. Then you're just going to want to glue the, the top of your mushroom house. Now don't put glue across the whole bottom. Boys and girls, you only need a little bit of glue here. Okay, just enough to stick on top of your craft sticks. So I'll just turn that over and we'll press that down. Okay, and so then we have the mushroom house without all of its decoration. It's very plain. First thing I would do is draw a door. So to make a door, you just need to sort of cut a square that has a curved top to it. Okay, or like a little rectangle here. And depending on how big you want it, you can make a smaller door or you can make a giant door and we're going to glue it so just put some glue on the back and it doesn't have to be a lot of glue scribble it around don't make one big one big bump there okay we need some windows and we need a chimney so um you also have a small piece of cardstock in your uh, packet and you'll just want to cut it in half and the, the longer rectangle can turn into the chimney. Now to make a chimney, I painted, not painted, but I used marker. I took some gray marker and just used some nice big bold strokes up and down, okay? And then I took the black and made some bricks. So to do that, you'll just wanna draw some straight lines across and then sort of just offset some other lines so that it sort of looks like bricks. And you have to decide which part's the top and which part's the bottom, and you'll glue it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy over, and you're just going to want to put a little glue here on the back of your paper plate and press your chimney down. You need to hold it a little bit because it's on a curve. It's going to take a little bit longer for it to stick. So we'll stick that down, turn it over. And now we have the chimney on that side versus this side, but it doesn't matter. Chimneys can go on either side. All right, I'm pressing that down because it's starting to curl a little bit. We need some windows. Now with that cardstock that you had, you can just cut two smaller little squares. Okay, well, they're not quite the same, but I guess that doesn't really matter. And we can put the X through it so that it looks like the little pieces of the window. You can draw some little curtains behind there if you want. If you wanted to draw some curtains, let's see, I might want to have a little bit of a purple curtain. So we're going to just sort of draw um, this little half circle on either side. And you can even make a little ruffle across the top if you want to make it a really cute little window shade. Okay, so we've got curtains on that side. Go ahead and make some purple curtains on this side. Your curtains can be blue or green or whatever color is your favorite, bright yellow. Make some lace across the top just by making little bumps. And that really sort of dresses up the, the house. So we are going to then 
Take the glue again and scribble. Don't put a big dot in the middle. Just put a little glue back and forth on the back side of both of your windows. And glue them down. Oops, sticking to my finger. Okay. Now, in order to get into the house, you need a doorknob. And I made my doorknob to look like a little heart. So to make hearts, I just took a little piece of paper. I'm gonna fold it in half. And we're going to cut up, and then we're going to circle around and back down. And we'll open it up, and we should have a heart. All right, so that can become at the doorknob. Now, the last thing we want to do is to put a few hearts up on the mushroom for the little dots. Okay, and so I am just going to cut some small strips of paper. And I'm going to lay them on top of each other so that I can cut out several hearts at one time. So I have four papers laid on top of each other and I'm going to fold it over. And then with my scissors, I'm going to take a little cut up and I'm just going to twirl around and come back on down. And then I should have four hearts that I can glue up here on the top anywhere I want. And you can do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't care how many you want to do. That would be left up to how decorative you want your house to be. So I'm going to do four little hearts up here. And it's about done. Now I can see that my windows are starting to poof up. Um, because you've used, I've used cardstock. It's going to do that until you press it down. That's why it's very important, boys and girls, when you glue, that you glue the edges. Don't just put glue in the middle or you'll always have that happen. So one more little heart. We'll just stick him over here. And that's all there is to this craft. Here is a beautiful little mushroom house. Well, boys and girls, I hope you will come here to the library and pick up your packet so you can make your own mushroom house. We would love to see what you have made. If you can put it in the comments for us, we would love to see your crafts. All right, I'm Miss Lisa, and I'm here at the Fayette County Public Library with the Crafty Corner. Come see me again next week for another great craft. Bye now. Oh, oh, oh.